All right. Here we are. Back again. With another review. With another review. Of something else. Of a cigar this time. Are we going to F this one up? We should uh, be better with cigars. I feel like this is kind of our thing. This is a little bit of our we, wheelhouse. We do be. film in a cigar shop. We don't film in a distillery, so I feel like we have an edge. And, like, I did this since 2014. Yeah. Casey, longer I, than that. I've been here for many, many years. I mean, I've been smoking, smoking many, many different cigars. I smoked in his first shop. Yeah. The yes. year that it opened. I feel like I've caught up to you. In quantity, in I'm quantity sure. For sure. In quantity, length of yeah. time, in no. length, no, not not in years, but but quantity, yeah. Which is probably not a good thing. Yeah, if, <laughs> if we're being honest. Uh, so we are smoking and reviewing the brand new Rocky Patel twentieth uh, anniversary Edge. Let's see if I can get a little close up in on there. For it's that not going to focus. You got to put it by your face. Um, we need to put the autofocus on. That one doesn't have autofocus. Never mind. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's a red <laughs> silver band. Gold lettering. It comes in a very fancy red velvety box. Um, not too overpriced, I think. Uh, yeah, what are... The, how much are we charging for these? Uh, we charge seventeen seventy. Okay. The same price as regular edges. Is it? Yeah. I thought we were a little bit lower for the other edges. Yeah, well, no... Uh, no, they should all be about that. Everyone's like, I can't believe you're charging that. You're resort charging pricing. That? Yeah, we we're in a casino in Lake Tahoe. Yeah, this casino resort pricing. Yeah. Ooh. It's good, though. Our whiskey flight is here. Oh, our flight attendant. Our flight attendant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, stewardess. Uh, yeah. Yep, just work your way past the camera. In case you would take that off camera. <laughs> What's that? You want to take that off oh, camera? Sorry. It's, what do you what do you no, get no, no, on move, your first? No, 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 I mean move that. I, okay. What do you get on your first initial uh, puffs there, Lane? I mean, not a lot initially, right? It's smooth. I get sort of leather, coffee. I don't get much cocoa at all. Like, there's no real dark notes in it. And like okay. Almost no pepper. Really? No, no subtle pepper? A little bit, but Maybe? it's not like. Not noticeable. Not traditional, like. Not in your face. Nicaraguan, Nicaraguan pepper. pepper. Yeah. 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 No, I mean the flavor's there, but it's it's an undertone. It's not the predominant note. But at that, and that it should be that way. Yeah. Uh, if if we're being honest, how it's built, that's exactly how it should be. Okay. I mean, it's super smooth and easy to smoke. It's, it is. It, it would it be is, a great golf course cigar. I. You know what? I almost thought about maybe getting the bigger size, just for people on the golf course. Yeah. For like, those of you that don't know, large ring gauges on the cigar because the wind doesn't eat them as fast. That's the only excuse for the 6x60. By it way. really is. I, I smoked a 7x62 last that's, night. That's gross. It's because you're you. It was, it was hard. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> oh, my God. Phrasing. Yep, phrasing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Casey, so you want to give us the, the official tasting sheet so, on this? So first I'll give you the, the wrapper. It's all Honduran. Okay. Okay. Um... The binder is a Nicaraguan Honduran blend. And the filler is a Nicaraguan Honduran blend as well. So that's why the pepper is not so predominant. Okay. It's, 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 it's in the 30% you get. You know, you're supposed to get 70% from the wrapper. So the third, that's why the, the, the pepper's not there. Those Nicaraguan traits you're looking for, the leatheriness. But they're blended, the pepper, you said. They're blended with that Honduran one. So the, what so, you should get... So you get like a 15% then. Yeah, kind of. But what you should get is earthy tones, floral notes, wood, pepper, and chocolate. I don't get the chocolate either. And I don't... Every time they say chocolate, I like never taste chocolate. Awesome. There's one in our humidor. No, the leaf. The leaf Maduro. Ah, the leaf does, yeah. Is okay. like kick you in the mouth chocolate. Okay, that's fair. I mean, we have that one Perdomo that says chocolate, but it's, like, faint. Uh, yeah. Letter Is that the Maduro Lot 23? Yeah. For number B? It's supposed to be chocolate. <coughs> that, okay, you know, actually, I, I think if, if that one, if it's my first cigar, I can taste the chocolate in it. But it has to be but the first it cigar. It has to, because if it's, it's, if it's the second cigar of the day, then that chocolate gets blown out by anything else that should be in there. <laughs> oh, 
Although I don't get the floral notes. I don't get the floral I, notes. I didn't pick up any. And I'm like, oh, like what? What floral note am I getting? Like, dead roses? Because that would be like dirt and earth to me. <laughs> well, earthy toned. I usually like. I'm not getting that. That dirty taste, like you, sometimes yeah, I mean, you do. Yeah, I mean, the hard part, right, is like, so they say earth tones, no, right? No, I get, I get a little bit of earth Is, for is sure. that dirt? Like, am I looking for just the dirt taste? Mm. What do they count as earthy tones when they no, say that? I think it's yeah. like that sort of deeper, richer leather characteristic that you get sometimes, where the uh, leather gets, like, super rich. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. And it starts to become earthy. That, that's what they, genuinely is the earthy tone. <laughs> I don't know what floor notes are talking about. Cause I, like, yeah, there's, I do not get any. When, when I thought of like earthy tones, when I think of that, I go back to the umbagog and that kind of like, remember when we grinded um, our teeth a yeah. little bit? It had that little bit of dirty No, it, it definitely, the, the umbagog is definitely dirty. Like, you get grounds in your teeth dirty. Yeah. From there's that so one. much dirt. You might as well just go outside and put it in your hand. Like, rub, just drop a cigar in a, in a pile of dirt. And then just pick it up and smoke it. No, that's fair. But, but yeah. I like the Umbagog. The Umbagog is good. It's a good cigar. I'm just saying that, like, that's the one that I've gotten the most earthy tones out of, out of any cigar I think I've yeah. had. When they say Florida, they mean, like, potpourri. I feel like, like dry uh, floral. Maybe. Do you get dry floral? I thought they were thinking more like grass, but I, I could be wrong. I think grass falls into the hay com- like conversation. Okay. Hmm. All right, maybe just a hint of like that potpourri flavor. That well, oh. potpourri smell. So is it is it maybe opening up? Is that what you're thinking? Like maybe you gotta get into because we're only an inch in. So I'll buy dried floral. I won't buy like fresh, like new floral. Okay, but like uh, pop- like you say, like potpourri. potpourri yeah. yeah. Do people still use potpourri? Dude, I haven't seen it since I was a kid. Uh, I, I don't. I don't my, even. I don't even know where you get it. My. Like, Grandma on my dad's side, the side does. Okay. See, my grandma did until she discovered those wax things. Oh, uh, those melting wax. Yeah, I, feel, then, I yeah. feel like it's been replaced by scented candles and Glade plugins. Yeah. I, you yeah. Know, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I guess it has. It's simpler, easier. They don't have to sit there. and Yeah. Oh. And it lasts longer. No, but my grandma figured out you could just make your house smell like pumpkin spice all year round. Oh, that would kill And me. that's what she does. I would have problems. <laughs> You walk in and you're like, is it fall already? Yeah. <laughs> you walk in in May and you're like, oh my God, oh. I was just hit in the face with pumpkin just pie. Boom, right in the face. Not going to lie, if I could get into your house and just put one of those Glade plugins in. Fuck. Now, now that I listen, know this. If the house smells like pumpkin pie because you made a pumpkin pie off season, different conversation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Are you eating that pie? So yes. you're okay with Kevin breaking into your house and baking <laughs> a, a pumpkin, pie pie pumpkin pie and leaving it behind? And just leaving it, but, but the Glade plug-in would be yes. a whole... As long as he doesn't infuse it with disease like his peanut butter cookies. Listen, the, <laughs> the pie that I'm making here soon is going to be a rhubarb pie. I love rhubarb. Really? I've never had a rhubarb pie. It's good. It, it, it's almost tart like uh, the sweet tarts. Mm, let's... I tell you what, when we were tasting at High West, yeah, yeah. I thought of shoe fly pie. You did? Yes. What the hell? It's molasses pie. Well, why don't you just say, why do you have to call it shoe fly? Because it's called shoe fly pie. Why? Because it draws flies. Like no so other. So it actually has flies in it? No, no, no. But it, listen, if you're baking molasses into a pie and you, in the south where it tends to come from, there's, it's, there's usually flies trying to get in. So there, there is flies in this pie. No. I mean, maybe if uh, in, in one of your bites if it lands on it. That's, in, in Casey's bite for sure. That's, it, it's just protein. No, no, no. Or if you're making protein. if you're making it in Elko grasshoppers, <laughs> they're not technically grasshoppers. I know they're Mormon crickets. Yes, but, the, but they don't fall in the grasshopper family. Yeah, <laughs> they fall into the spawns of Satan. Oh my God! Category. All right, final notes on this cigar. You tell me. What do you got? Honestly, one of the few cigars I've smoked where I can honestly say what they advertise as the flavor profile is actually outside of the floral. Yeah, not the made up ones. Where people are like, oh, yeah, no, the yeah. guy who rolled this didn't wash his hands. There's some clear dirt in there. And you're like, what? 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 No. <laughs> I'm still not getting cocoa. I'm not No, either. no cocoa. Yeah, I, I. It's, it's, there's coffee. Coffee for sure. But no chocolate, no like cocoa in there at all. I think maybe, maybe heavy. the person 
Maybe they misjudged coffee and cocoa together. You yeah, know? I don't get I mean, You have to really hunt for it, and I'm still not picking it up. But it's a good cigar. Listen, I would smoke this. I wouldn't turn this down if someone offered it to me. No, and, and for it being in the Edge family. I mean, I can, I can honestly you know. say, look, we have a humidor that we get to choose from whenever we want, and yeah, I would yeah. grab this. Yeah, I will grab this, this again this is for on sure. The, this is on the list of ones it's See, like yeah. go to. And I find it because I, I smoke a lot heavier cigars normally. It's pretty mild. Like oh, it's it, is, me- it is for sure. Oh, it's, yeah. it's mild to medium for sure. It's like yeah. right in the center. Medium but, minus maybe? Know. Yeah. Yeah, if that. Yeah, I think I'd, it shades I'd, more to medium than mild. Yeah, I, I'd, like I said, I, I'd, I'd say it's, it's... They try to, but like I said, it smokes like a m- more mild than... Yeah. It has the flavor profile of more of a medium, but it smokes mild. Mm. It's definitely a light, it has the like, smoothness of a mild. Yeah. Yes. But the flavors are... The, it's got way more yeah. flavor than a mild cigar. Yes. Like if you put this next to a, an Oliva Connecticut, it would have a ton more flavor. Well, for sure. Oh, yeah. But it smokes really smooth. Yeah, no, it's, it's definitely just light. Yeah. You know, it's... It's definitely like you could smoke it on the golf course. You don't have to have a heavy dinner. You know, yeah. it's just boom. It's almost, but not quite, a uh, coffee cigar. It, yeah, that's hard category to get into. It oh, is. Yeah. Yeah. It's my Henry Clay Coronas. <laughs> yeah. It's the one and only Henry The Warhol Clay Corona. Corona. That's his only coffee cigar. It actually is my only coffee cigar. Um, I haven't found anything else that fits the category. Not yet. No. Not like, even. That would be if I was if I was if we were teeing off at 10 a.m. and they insisted on smoking cigars. That's what I'd light up. Which we do. Yes, I know you do. You bring the 40 pack case. Listen, yes, I still haven't gone golfing. I'd, yeah, I'd like to go. I, I've gone to the range, never gone done a match because. Oh God. I look at it. I'm like, wait, I'm, I'm not that accurate. How, we need how, to get you yeah, to the range. How have you never golf a plane? I know, right? It's such a good next time you have time, hit me up. Experience. I'm usually off. Today and tomorrow. So there was a little bit of sarcasm in that statement that he just made. That's why I'm not looking at him. That's why I was ignoring him. Yeah, <laughs> it's a wonderful it's a experience. Pl- it's a planned ignore. <laughs> it can be a wonderful experience. I've experienced yes. all levels, and I can tell you that genuinely, 95 percent of the time, it's a fantastic experience. <laughs> I take it less seriously than I did then. That's good. That's good. we'll see that now. It's 97 percent, it, unless it's for uh, but De Niro. You, Kevin, I'm telling you right now, you have to go when Matt comes. Oh, when Matt, Matt, because Matt, at some and point, him, oh, it's fantastic. Do, do they feed off of each other? No, 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 no it's not that. It's it's so, that. Matt will. Matt holds off. All right, so I'm three to four clubs longer than Matt with everything, and Matt holds off for about six holes. Usually, about the second par three, I'll hit a shot, and Matt will turn to me and say, "What club was that?" And I'll say something like, it was a nine iron. And his head just drops. Because he's holding like a five or a six. I feel like it's, we've had this conversation it's before. It's fantastic. And, it's then, and then he's, so ro- he's wrecked for like five or six holes. Yes. See, And, I'm, and I'm then just... he spends the rest of the holes trying very hard to throw his back out of whack. <laughs> yes. Trying to shoot but, further than lane. But you say <laughs> that, so did a professional hockey player. Yes, you did force Neil, and I'm going to call him out to get back surgery right yeah. there. <laughs> Just so he can That's, get his shot better? Yes. Yeah. And, because they, and they have yet to play together since, since but it's going, to, it's going to go down in the Thunderdome eventually. Well, when's Neil he was to pissed because I spent the whole day out driving him. Yeah. He hit, we were playing in a, in a scramble, and there was one hole. Um, it was the long drive hole, and he crushes one, and he thinks he has it. I mean, just crushes it. And I step up and I hit this perfect draw, this perfect little baby draw, and I park this thing to like 387. And he just fucking got sad face. <laughs> well, well, well you like, so you've lost some distance since high school, though, right? Oh, yeah. Well, college. To... When I was in college at sea level, I could hit the ball 415. Exactly. You could launch that thing. Yeah. And that's everyone's going to be like, no, it's not true. And I hear it all the time. It's true. I could. It really uh, happened. If, if, you, if you listen, open challenge. All right, you pay for the round, and Lane will come embarrass you. Open challenge. Open challenge. I just, the one thing I've always been he'll able to do is crush cigars. the ball. I'll, I'll send him with cigars. I will bring cigars. <laughs> he'll bring cigars. And whiskey. And whiskey. Open challenge. Yeah. <laughs> All you got to do is say that you want to challenge him. Come into the store. But no, I haven't. Well, I take that back. I was in a scramble. Uh... Last year, two years ago. Yeah. And I, 
I got one to like 407. Yeah. We, so we, we clocked the guys on the tee when we got to my ball. Was it, was that it was a par five, and we were a, lob, we were a 60 degree out. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, and, and like, I feel like if I play with you, I mean, I'm going to learn a lot, but at the same time, I'm just going to have the mat head down. It, but I'm like, no, I'm it, new, does, so. it doesn't no, matter. It's, it's, it's different when you're the, the guy who doesn't golf. Well, because Matt's a single digit handicap, he can play. Yeah. He's probably an eight or a nine. And it's just when you can play and you're, and you're just getting parked by, it's. Yes. Fair. Yes. But what's nice when you play with people who can play is you get a lot of cool, fun pointers, you know, and you get tips. Sometimes they're not the best tips. <laughs> <laughs> just bounce it off the card path, but, over know, the bunker, some, yeah, put it in Sometimes the guy who you're partnered with is a dick and just says, <laughs> no, just, just hit it over there as he drives by. Doesn't even stop the car. Never even no, stop the cart. No remorse. And I, he, I literally, I'm driving by and I'm like, bounce it off the card path. And I just kept going. Yeah. No remorse. <laughs> no, here's what you really, here's what I would do. None of that. Just bounce it off the car path. <laughs> oh, that's what he now, mind you, he was buried in the trees. Yeah, I was, I was on the other side it, of the car path in in the rough, like under a tree. Okay. Now I did. Now, mind you, I did look at. I had evaluated the distances, yeah. and if from where he was, he bounced off the cart path. It was going to go over the bunker and land on the green somewhere. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know it was going to land to a kick in. Yeah. So out of spite, I said, "All right, motherfucker." And then I bounced over the cart path over the. And with like two feet in the hole, it was my first par on my first round of golf. So. This is the thing. He gives me shit. It was 17 at Edgewood. It was a nice course, yeah, too. Yeah. He gives me shit for this, but he did it. Yeah, he I did exactly it. what I said, yeah. and he made par. But, you know, he you could have been nicer about it. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> he, he was nice. He drove by Terrible. and gave you a, a pointer. Yeah, drive by pointer. He's just he's pissed like, that I didn't even take my foot off the gas. Yeah, he's like, well, I'm, I'm so <laughs> he just good. yelled at him. I'm so good at golf. Oh, yeah. So. Well, it's worse, too, because I drive golf carts like... The gas pedal in a golf cart is an on-off switch. Yes. It's either on the ground or not at all. Yeah. That's right. the deal. You drive like a New York cabbie with no traffic. Well, yeah, it's a golf cart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. People would be like, ah, I'm getting out. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like Casey and I are about the same way into the cigar now. About halfway. I bet so it's not you, changing You've reached much. the halfway it, point, and, and honestly, this is a cigar. It's not going to change. No. no. This I mean, it like, grew yeah. a little bit. It, it developed some. I think the pepper comes out more in the middle. A little bit. A little bit, but not much. But not much. It's still, an, un, it's still an undertone. It, yeah. The but wood is predominant. The wood and does. those earthy tones are predominant. Yeah. Yeah. And Again, it, it, no, if, no real floral. Right? I still, get, still get the leatheriness floral? off of it. Not really any floral. Well, the leatheriness is, is good. Yeah, it's more yeah. prominent. Yeah. But no floral. And no, no chocolate. And it's still super smooth. But it's still super. It's not hot. It's smooth. All right. Yeah. Final scores. Uh, out of ten, I think is a good. Out of ten. Out of ten, I'm gonna go. I'll give it an eight. Eight out of ten. Okay. Yeah, See, I, I like this one. I was gonna give it a seven. Um, I want to give it an eight. I don't think it's quite there. I'm gonna give it a seven point nine. Oh, it's right okay. there. It's, it's right, right there. there. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know we were doing points. Well, you can do points. You wanna go back? What do you got? Yeah, I'll stick with my seven. All, All right. Flat seven. Yeah, flat seven. All right. Fair flat enough. Seven. Fair enough. Oh, wait. Casey brought us in. That's right. So I'm going to say, what? if you made it this far, huh? like, comment, subscribe. Oh, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. See what, he puts, see what I put up with? Exactly. I mean, you should know this. Really, you should. 